Okay guys, Bigger Brother here, back with another video. And yes, it is Bigger Brother. I know, I know, I know. You guys might be very scared right now, like, this don't look like Well, I mean it does, if you look closely. Hey guys, I could not miss this. I had to be in this tutorial. Hi girls, me look nice in a costume. I know you guys are going to enjoy this one, and I know, no, no, that you love it. In today's video, we're going to teach you how to spice up your online classes if you don't want to show your face for a class, you know, you just want to pop up with something friendly still, but you don't want to come and it's just like, no face. Teachers and students can do this. I am not too sure about students because of school rules and so, but I know for a fact teachers can try this to spice up their class just a little bit more. Now, this will work in any live meet application. It will work in Google Meet, it will work in Zoom, it can even work for live streams if that's something you're interested in. This application is called Lumi Live. In order for this to work, you must install it on a tablet or a phone. It is working on my computer right now, but we'll get to that later in the video. Remember also, you must have a Gmail account. The first thing you have to do is make sure that you have that Google account ready. Of course, if you are on a MOE Schools or a G Suite account, that can work too. Okay, let us now head over to the Play Store. Remember, you are going to need the same email account that you have used for your phone on your computer. Now, we want you to search for Lumi or Lumi Live. When it's in a G Suite account, you may not be able to find the app. To simply get past this, switch to a normal account until you have finished downloading the app. You can always switch to a different account after. Great! Now install it. Remember, have your Gmail account ready. Great! Finished installing, now open the app. Click Allow. Allow Lumi to take pictures and record video. Great! Now it will take a new picture to create a new avatar. Okay, I will demonstrate. Make sure that it is as centered as possible. Press the check mark. It will now generate your own personalized Lumi. Once that's loaded, using its algorithm, it will give you four characters that it thinks closely resembles you. Select the one that you think resembles you most. It will now ask you to sign in. Remember to select the sign in step if you wish to use this in Google Classroom or on Zoom. Remember, sign in with Google. In this case, I am going to sign in as Little Wizzes. Just be patient, wait for it to load. After it has loaded, you can now make any changes that you wish to your character. Press the paintbrush at the bottom right hand corner to edit any characteristic of the character. You can change from the skin complexion, change the hairstyle, down to the very clothes you wear, Change its color. I will not go into the full list of customizations or else we would be here forever. But you can change your pants, your shoes, you can change the background if so wish, and you can even wear accessories. Okay, let me change to my current avatar. Now 
We can do live videos by just clicking the camera. We can now look at our character and we can also make stickers by clicking the photo icon at the bottom left corner. You can play around with that. Now let us show you how to use this in a live class. Open your Chrome browser and search LumiLive.com. In the top right corner, click Download. Make sure you are installing the correct LumiLive based on the platform that you are using. I have already installed it, so I will cancel my installation. From the desktop, open LumiLive. Ensure that you sign in with the same account that you used to create the Lumis on your PC. to show you some of the features remember now your Lumi life have to be running in the background for your live weeks if you turn it off it just not go work you know you can go in settings and change things such as your name your microphone and your camera if you're using a desktop you need a webcam but if you have a built-in webcam in your laptop no problem you can mirror your video track your eyes you can also put on gesture strength you can also notice our list of avatars we can go in AR mode as well or we can go back to just voice but that is not my name let's see how I can change it to something else first you click on settings and right here you see display name you can go off and on little brother because that's my name you know the one and only little brother I can change my background to anything black, even a classroom setting if I like to. Now let's go on to environment, office, school, sci-fi, and nature. We can also customize our own backgrounds. Isn't that cool? See what we have made. This is a red theater background. Okay, let us experiment with some of the backgrounds. Starting off with school, university setting, chalkboard at the back, another university setting but at a different angle, clear chalkboard. Now I'm around my laptop, hello, doing my work in my office. Now it's night time. I know I'm the boss of things, so you know, I, I sign the paychecks. You have a lot of pretty stuff and you can customize it, find your own images on Google, easy and peasy. I can also do emotes. Let's see how does it look. I want to pray. I press the prayer one. I close my hands together. You know, I can go say Jesus, Amen. If you want to celebrate like you get the exact right, yeah, I got it right. Use a celebrate emote. And then if you want to clap your hands, you click on it and you clap your hands. Well, good job. And now you have the muscle emote. I'm super strong now, you know? When you understand everything, it's like, okay, or you can use all of these within Google Meet or Zoom. Bet you didn't know that. Now let us start a Google Meet. Okay, guys, now we will show you how to put this on Google Meet. You could go onto a Meet from your Google Classroom or go straight to Google Meet from the Google Apps or from searches. Remember, you can also use this on Zoom or any other platform. Once you have hosted the meeting, before you join, click the top three dots in the top right hand corner of the webcam view. Press it and then go to settings. 
go over to video on their webcam ensure that you choose the lumi live camera and there you go you have successfully changed it to the lumi webcam view all you have left to do is join the meeting great all you have left to do is invite people to your meet you can also do this if you're joining a meet keep that in mind hey man are you trying to take over my tutorial okay guys i am professor pico brother and today i will be your teacher do sit back and take a look at my amazing face anyways thank you guys for watching Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video if it helps. If you like this video, remember to leave a like. A like would be much appreciated. Bye bye, I will see you on the next tutorial. Laters. This is Liquizis signing out.